Well, hello fellow worm farmers. This is Larry Wiley. This is my first episode of filming my little worm farm. I actually went to Walmart uh, and bought some, bought 150 worms. Now, I've been told that you shouldn't buy from Walmart, but I didn't know that when I bought these. Started off with 150 worms and uh, on uh, about 10 days later, I went back and got 150 more worms, and this is where I keep them. Now I wanted to I wanted to get a bin that was not clear. I wanted to get a solid color one, but I couldn't find one. So this is what I this is what I wound up with. Anyway, I just took a local newspaper thing here and laid that on the top, and then for my bedding, I just uh, I cut up some some cardboard. And this is where we got started. And I got cardboard and I got leaves in here. And for food, for my worm food, I put some uh, bananas in here, banana peels, and uh, various food. But anyway, this is where I put my 300 worms. And again, I put 150 on uh, uh, February the, no, January the 17th of 2023. And I put another 150 back. Uh, in on March the 8th of uh, 2023 so this is where we are at the time so here's my bedding here I want to dig down and show you what I've got in my worms you can see the worms and they look pretty healthy by the way these are these are all red wigglers and these this is how there's a little one right there I believe no that's not such a little one these are pretty good sized worms now as I'm told the the worms now you can tell when they're adults, they've got this little, I will call it a thingamabob right there in the middle, see them right there in the middle? That means that they're adult and uh, they can start redu reproducing. Now this is one of the little ones. Now I have no idea how many worms I have at this moment. But as you can see, worms are a little messy. A lot of people wear gloves, but I just I just wash my hands. But anyway, here's here's part of my... Here's part of my worm food here. This is, I believe, a part of an apple. So I do have a few apples in here. And uh, let's see what this is. That looks like a, an apple as well, part of an apple. What I did was I took a small apple and cut it in fourths and put it in here. So here's where we go. Here's, here's Wiley Worm Farm. A friend of mine suggested that I name it WWF. But I chose not to go with WWF simply because <laughs> that acronym's already taken. There's one of the smaller worms right there. There's that little fella. Now worms, oddly enough, worms are both male and female. And as you that study worms at all, you know that it takes two worms to uh, mate and make baby worms. And as I understand it, Worms can reproduce uh, anywhere from three to six months, about about three months as I understand it. And I've been in, been going now for the, about three months. So as you see, if we can get a little close up here, you see my little worms and I got pretty, pretty healthy worms here. They're looking good. And uh, I keep these in my den. And my den is, is really, really not what a lot of, a lot of you would consider a den. There's some of uh, babies in here. But uh, a den is just a room on the back of the house we used to use as a den, but now it's pretty, pretty much my space. I come back here and listen to the Bible and just kind of meditate. And uh, I've been playing the Bible on tape to my worms for quite a while, and I don't think any of them got saved yet. <laughs> Little joke there. Anyway, one day, about 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 a month or so ago now, I decided I want to try something a little different. So what I did was I took this little container here, and I took, I counted 10 worms out. I put exactly 10 worms in here, and this is nothing but coffee grounds. Of course, I got a little bit of food in here now, but coffee grounds in here, and a little bit of food. That's a piece of a banana there. And as you can see, they're working on it a little bit, but there's 10 worms in here. And again, this is nothing but coffee grounds. 
and uh, it was it was pretty soupy. So uh, I took the top off. Well, cotton picking. I don't see any worms in here as of yet, but there's supposed to be. I think I see a few here. There's ten worms in here, and I just wanted to do it as an experiment just to see if they could live in coffee grounds. I don't know. I'm new to all this worm farming, so y'all just bear with me. I don't. I don't. I didn't see. Well, there's one. There's one. It's supposed to be ten worms in here. I have no idea if this will work or not. But anyway, this is this is my first video, and of course, uh, of course, I uh, I plan to video my my experience with experience with red wiggers. I don't buy nothing but red wiggers. And I hope there's another one. I hope I didn't make a mistake by buying at Walmart. I probably won't buy any more from Walmart. Unless these do really well. But anyway. Anyway, we'll check back in a month or so from now. And see how Wildland Worm Farm has come along. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments. Especially if you have any comments about buying from Walmart, I would really like to hear about that. If you had any experience from that, let me know. I'd be glad to glad to keep, uh, keep informed or, or see what you've got to say about it. So here we go, and we'll be back next time in round two of Wiley Worm Farm. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, one thing I failed to mention in my worming little project here is uh, I I started this on a shoestring budget, so I wanted to spend as little money as I possibly could. That's why I really went to Walmart and bought my worms there. But also, the uh, most expensive things I've purchased so far, or most expensive thing I bought, I bought a little blender so I could uh, blend my eggshells to put in here with it. And I understand that the worms need that. Uh, that kind of goes in the crawl. Growing up on a farm, we had chickens, so... I knew a little bit about the crawl the chickens had, but I understand worms have the same type thing, so therefore I did that. So I fed that, and also I've, uh, well, actually, right here, get where I can get to this. This is, this is a blender that I use to, to blend my, uh, if you can see this very well, I'm not, I'm having to do this on my own here with the camera. This is some eggshells that are ground up here, but uh, I use that, and I also have, uh, I bought some, some food from some all-purpose flour. I want to make sure, the first time I put a little bit of flour, I put self-rising, I didn't know, I didn't know then I shouldn't have, but I put uh, self-rising flour in there the first time, and I shouldn't have done that, but I uh, went to the store recently to buy a few more things to mix in with my worm food. I want to develop my own worm food and not just have to feed them vegetables. I do want to keep a little bit of vegetable in there just to just to keep my worms happy. I want to, I want to have happy worms. Happy worms produce as I understand it. But anyway this is a it's a new project for me. Like I say we only started uh, January the 17th was the first worms I put in here. I remember that date because that's my wife's birthday. I won't tell you what year. But nonetheless, we appreciate you watching. God bless you. And do have a good day. Hello again, fellow, fellow worm growers. This is Larry with Wiley Worm Farm. Just want to show you a little experiment I tried. I took that small Tupperware container there. And I put coffee grounds in there and I counted 10 worms and put 10 worms in there. Now, I have seen videos that people say that you shouldn't go all the way coffee grounds, but I just tried it just for an experiment to see how it went. And uh, I must have had them in there five or six weeks. And then I, this morning, I counted them out and I put them back in my regular worm bin here. Remember now, I'm a small worm farmer, and uh, I'm actually reluctant to call that call myself a worm farmer because I actually grew up on a farm, and uh, it's hard for me to consider that container as a farm. But that's what everybody else calls it, so I'll stick with that. 
But anyway, I had uh, I counted out ten worms and put them in the little Tupperware container there. It's been uh, no more than six weeks ago. I'd say four to five weeks. And I pulled them out this morning, counted them out, and I put them back in this container over here with their fellow worms. And I was really surprised. I put 10 in there. I counted them out one at a time. And this morning, when I put them, kind of pulled them out of that from my experiment and put them in this worm bin, this worm bin right here, if you can see my finger pointing. I don't know where my finger is, but there it is. And, uh, I was surprised that I had 16 worms. Now the only difference I could tell was those worms all looked healthy, but they were all short. This is these are red wigglers, and why they were short I don't have an idea. But uh, the ones I checked in my regular bin, I mean they're regular size red wiggler, regular length. In fact, some of them seem to be. To me, a little extra long. I hadn't been in this long enough to determine how long they should be. But anyway, my worms are doing quite well, and I'm quite proud of them. I'm so tempted to go buy more worms, but the only way I can buy more worms, well, two ways. I could buy them online, but I have to buy about a pound. And I, and I just, uh, I'm being very conservative with this. Don't want to spend a little, ex no extra money. So the ones that I bought here, I had mentioned before, I bought those at Walmart, and then I later learned that you shouldn't buy worms at, at Walmart. I still don't know why, so if anybody watching this video knows why, if you'll leave a comment, I sure would appreciate it. For some reason, we had a, we had a death in the family yesterday. I mean, I know why that happened, because, because it died. But uh, for some reason... Uh, I'm, I'm just reluctant to do some of this in the worm farm, but for some reason, I don't understand it, but I'm enjoying this little project. But uh, anyway, we'll see how it goes from there. I got a good-sized den. I got plenty of room here to raise worms in, and, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to make a little money with them uh, sometime in the future with the castings or with maybe selling worms or or with tea or, or something, but it looks like I'm a, a ways down the road from that. You folks have a great day. God bless you.